Napoleon is currently declared war. Ah, oh, hello, it's Eli and one back with another episode of 437 AI World Domination. We are gonna see today more wars happening. Currently, Mongolia and China make peace with each other. We're gonna only do 10 turns because I'm working a bit, but I wanted to get an episode out and record today. I might get another episode I'll record and put out later on, but who knows? Um, and we currently see the Dutch and France declaring war on each other, with trolleys being having a huge foothold inside the Dutch. Mainland. We're gonna hit next turn now. The turns are getting slower because there's like so much more units on the uh, on the uh, map right now. So much more cities too. But my computer will still be fine. It shouldn't take that long for each one to finish. Especially after some civs get eliminated. Also, usually the first the first turn after I after I um start an episode is usually kind of slow because it's like I don't know I guess it was getting warmed up or something but who knows? Uh, we currently see Shaka entering classical era. He entered the classical era very late, I have to say. Also, the religion of Hinduism being advanced, being enhanced, not advanced. <laughs> uh, they were enhanced with the beliefs. Plus one global hat uh, founder. Uh, Hinduism, Hinduism. Indian Hinduism. Use faith to purchase pre industrial land units and. MBAs provide plus one faith in cities of three followers and profits are 25% stronger and then with 25% less faith. Awesome. We see uh, the huge war um, starting between the Dutch and um, France. Kiev is currently recovering, and we see a huge mix of armies. We see a huge Egyptian army heading towards um, Hippo Regis, and Hippo Regis got a hit apparently. So we currently see the the Arakor army moving into New York, but um, Washington has been able to start defending, and the Social army is growing and is starting to slowly creep down to um to the Monte cities. I see what's happening right now. The Sipo Vegas being hit anymore? No, it's probably gonna heal his turn. The Chinese and Mongolians have gone in peace. I don't think any cities changed hands in that peace deal because China's currently number one. And actually, the Dutch are starting to attack Troy's, and it's looking like a very bleak situation for the city of Troy's because they have a bunch of archers and spearmen on their on their city limits. Will Troy's be taken? Who knows? Um, Catherine has made peace with Casimir, the Polish. Russian army, the post-Russian war has stopped. But as that happens, we see the we see the we see Greece declaring war. Actually, it was probably Byzantium. Byzantium declared war in Athens, and we currently see a bunch of uh, ships on their borders on the on the city of Athens limits. Troy is currently being uh, currently being besieged by the Dutch army.
And we have a bunch of denunciations. We actually have the first two denunciations of the game happen. Well, Portugal is announcing France. That's funny. And, um... Close announced Austria, but Austria announced France, and Portugal announced France. Got that deity mindset of denouncing of two two cities denouncing um a country at the same time. Troy is still being besieged by the Dutch Empire. And Athens is in red health. It is I think this is gonna be the second capital to be taking this turn, taking this game. There's even a, a spot for the spearmen to land their troops. Uh, Egypt has just declared war on the, on Catheridge. And just like I thought, they're heading towards Hipporigus. With a bunch of, with a bunch of units going towards there. Uh, we currently see Brazil declaring war on the city-state of Buenos Aires, that's funny. And um, we currently see uh, Alexander at uh, um, Greece completing Colossus. Athens is in yellow health, but it's probably going back to red health this turn. As for Troy's, it's been fully healed. Akkad's currently being besieged by Persian troops. Um, Babylon might be the first Civ to be eliminated this this game. And actually, because of um, Greece's Greece is only only consists of two coastal cities, Greece might also be eliminated because Carthage has a bunch of of sea units on its borders. Troy has gone to full, has full health. Uh, Morocco just declared war on Catherine also. And Greece just lost its capital within the first, within, within two, within the first two turns of the war. That's crazy for, uh, for, for Greece. And actually, uh, I'm pretty sure that the city, I'm pretty sure Byzantine's going to start besieging Sparta very time soon. By the time Sparta's taken, um, Greece would have been eliminated from the game. Troyes is not taking any hits yet. Let's see if, if Hippogreus is taking any hits yet. No, Hippogreus is surrounded by a jungle. You don't make peace with the Skiad where any where any cities lost in the uh, in the trade deal. I don't think so. But also we have to see a huge Mor a Mor Morocco army moving towards Catheridge. Is Tudor currently besieging Sparta? No, they are not, but it's going to fall very, very soon. Athens will probably flip hands before uh, before um, Tudor can fully secure it. As for Troy's, it's been taking a few hits still. How's Akkad doing? Akkad's currently in green health and still being besieged by Persian troops. I'm really excited to see Sparta start getting hit by by Byzantium. Will Athens flip back? I don't know. As for Troy's. Troy is still in green health, but it's being surrounded by Dutch units. Um, France is just trying to get reinforcements in there, but uh, who knows if they're going to get reinforcements in there. Um, Madrid, uh, Spain has refounded the city of Barcelona. Who knows, Byzantium might even make peace with um, Greece. 
Oh, oh, hasn't been captured by Greece. They lost two more. They lost two more um, of their. I'm going to regain their capital, and so far, an element con player controls the most, which is actually um, um, Arabia. Uh, that city's probably going to flip more and more. Byzantium, uh, Byzantium is going to keep capturing Athens, and Greece is going to keep recapturing it back. Our for Troy is still in green health. Well, we have another golden age for my um, nuclear submarine crew, I guess. Uh, we currently see um, war. We currently see war occurring between um, Catheridge and Morocco. They currently have units fighting each other on, on the on the Catheridge border, and we currently see Egypt, Egyptian units starting to surround Hipporegus. I don't see why you put your your second city there, um, Catheridge or Teodoro. Who knows? Um, what's it called? The islands might even attack. Oh, and Athens is being captured by Zent by Byzantium, and it's currently at yellow health. Who knows if they'll be able to keep it this turn, this time around. Hmm? Uh, we will currently have four more turns in this, but in this small episode, we've had Athens um, be captured twice, like by its original owner and, and a different warmonger. We currently see the the religion of. The religion of of Catholicism, and they got uh, so that's not Catholicism plus two founder. Thanks, twenty percent combat strength. Your that follow the religion, and we have plus one production for each follower. Troy is still getting besieged, but um, it looks like France is starting to bounce back. Will Sparta be taken back? Who knows? Will Sparta be taken by Byzantium? Who knows? How's Akkad doing right now? Akkad is still in green health, and they have a, they have a, a good amount of soldiers defending it. But um, with um, Persians' naval strike, it might not go well for them. Sparta is going to be starting to start getting attacked by uh, by Byzantium very soon. Who knows when uh, Sparta is going to start getting besieged. As for Athens, Athens is in yellow health. But uh, Greece is losing soldiers quicker and quicker down down near the city of Athens. It's been reduced to one population. I don't see what's the point of keeping it right then and there. It doesn't really do anything by keeping the city at one population. It's basically just finding another city. Has he Bubrigus card? Can he hit? Nope, but it has a catapult right next to it, which will start doing some damage very quickly. Captain Mandu has still not been taken by Indian troops. They've been, ha they've been at war for at least a thousand years already. We're currently see Greece trying to um, scramble out another cellar to try and... Two other cellars to try and uh, stay alive. In this game, but if Sparta gets taken before they can settle down those two cities, the game it's game over for for Greece. As for Troy, as you guys see up in the northeastern corner, hasn't taken any hits yet. It's recovered. Uh, Pocatello has completed Parth Parthia, so they're gonna, they're the first civ to start um, have <coughs> tourism. Excuse me. As for the Egyptian siege of Hipporegus, has not started. But we see the Moroccan, we see Moroccan troops starting to break into um, mainland Catheridge. Is we show up to the guy? Oh, and we see Sparta starting to besiege. It's currently in yellow health. I might Greece might be eliminated next next game, in the next turn by the uh, by the Byzantium, and they'll be the first to have been eliminated before Babylon. That's pretty impressive, actually. Who knows who knew Byzantium could be so quick?
quick in destroying another city. It took forever. They couldn't even take a city from from the Ottomans, but they they took out they took out Greece in less than ten turns. Also, what's good for Byzantium is that if they take Sparta, there is no one that's gonna want to fight back, and they're gonna keep they're gonna get to keep their six civilians alive in that city. As for Troy's has not had any hits yet, and um, currently France is starting to move units up to Amsterdam, which would be scary for Am for Amsterdam. Hippogriffus is being blockaded by Egyptian troops. I don't see why war chariots are in the water, though. It's not smart. And there's a turn that, but that Greece may be eliminated from the game, guys. There's a turn that Greece may be eliminated from the game. It's fall, probably it's it's falling down to red health. If they can get a melee unit in range, it's over for 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 Greece. Will they be eliminated this this episode? Who knows? As for Troy, Troy is not taking any hits yet. And Hippo Regis is in yellow health as of right now and they have only they have once they have a few million units outside of the city. Next turn will be the last turn. I will continue that turn. Um actually no I'm gonna stop I'm gonna stop the episode right here at turn ninety five. We're gonna just, we're gonna have to wait until the next episode to see if Sparta gets taken by Byzantium. As for COD, let's see how COD's doing as of right now. Currently, Austria just announced Byzantium, maybe because they're about to eliminate a sieve. And, uh, and Austria has just declared war on Alexander. Maybe they try and capture uh, Sparta before uh, Byzantium captures that. That'd be, that'd be funny. As for Akkad, Akkad's in green health. Who knows if they'll be able to defend against the Persian invasion. As for Kathmandu, they have still not been taken by the Indians. And, uh, and Indians do not have a, uh, the Indians still do not have a melee unit within range. As for Hippogrigus, it's currently in yellow health. This will be where, where episode uh, 6 ends today, guys. I might upload an episode later. Let's check out N5 and see how everyone's doing. Build fact book for rankings. Population. France currently has most people with over 5 million. Almost 5 million. For Russia has 4.2 million and Germany has 4.2 million. Russia and Germany are pretty even at, in that aspect. In terms of the crop year, Russia has the most, which means they're going to grow the fastest. Death 2 and 3, the Soshan 194, Mongolia 100, so that's a huge jump from Mongolia to the Soshan. Those are all huge jumps from 1st to, to 2nd, 3rd to 4th. Between the 1st and the 4th, it's, it's almost 60. That's, rid it, that's ridiculous. As a matter of fact, you're good. the Soshan produce the most stuff, which means they're going to be able to produce the most troops and the most fast in terms of the gold national product. Uh, Russia is producing 330 per turn, Mongolia is producing 164 per turn, and the Hunter producing 157 per turn. In terms of land area, Russia is still in first place with 2.3 million kilometers. Russia has 1.2 million kilometers, and Mongolia has 1.25 million kilometers. Military manpower, Russia has 122. So they're they're ready to attack someone. The Huns have 112. Maybe they're just intimidating each other. Who knows? And Russia has 102,000 soldiers. Mongolia has 95,000 soldiers. In terms of soul standing, Russia has eight. Wow, go Russia! Um, you are you are the most progressive, I guess. In terms of uh, technologies, the Russian have a one technology lead. And Mongolia and Russia have a one technology lead. In terms of cities, Russia has 13, the Soshan have 13, Mongolia have 12, and the Iroko have 10, 11. In terms of science, Russia has 149. They're doing really well this game. Soshan have 120, and the Iroko have 98. Let's see how the Soshan, let's see how the Iroko, Washington War is doing. No progress has been made on that front. We currently see Sak Kalako being besieged by Soshan troops. People were just Korean being besieged by by, by um, Egyptian troops. Sparta might be taking this next turn by Byzantium, and Troy's is still just hanging in there. Uh, this is Eli Sun One, guys. Thanks for watching the episode today. Have a great day.